Okay, so recently there's been this buzz going around about OpenAI's Atlas browser and Perplexity's Comet browser. I was thinking about trying them out, but yeah, apparently they aren't safe. Major privacy flaws and all that. I even asked you guys if y'all use AI hey browsers and huh, the vote speaks for itself. But you know me, I was still curious and kind of wanted to try one. Then a random Reddit post popped up talking about this AI native browser called Norton Neo. It had barely any comments, but hey, curious. Curiosity one. So I searched it up, found their website, and okay, interesting hero section. The UI looks clean, very nice. Looks like they have a typing assistant too. And of course, a wait list. Anyway, submit this totally real information. And now we wait. Three days later. Okay been like 72 hours and we finally got an email you just unlocked something big that's when he said welcome to neo and brrr, all that bs to me they gave me a personal activation code so all right let's download this no linux huh windows it is then it's installing and it looks like it's based on chromium because this is exactly how chrome installs and boom it's done just like that let's close this and yeah it's already asking for that activation code here you go uh let me untick this real quick Hit next, and damn, that intro is actually cool. It's like I'm watching one of those Apple events. What should I call you? Sleepy. Theme, dark, of course, and we are in. Good afternoon, Sleepy. Oh, good afternoon to you too. We got a weather widget, a clock, that's cool. At the bottom, we've got this settings icon and it looks like they got vertical tabs, which is nice. And AI mode, I can change the avatar and there's a local mode. That's good since it's not throwing my entire PC out to the internet. Shortcuts are very minimal here in preferences memories are off in security looks like they have their bone ad blocker okay now let's see how good this browser really is and what features it's got magic box ai side panel yeah let's check them all out one by one but first let's change the search engine to something else duck is here so let's use that let's type youtube and now search up myself here let's watch this video now let's open the neo ai from the side panel looks like we can ask questions about the video so let's try summarizing it and yep, yeah, it pretty much covered all the stuff mentioned in the video. That's great. Let's ask an important question too. How do I uninstall Edge like this video suggested? And yeah, WinToys is mentioned here. It even gives suggested questions to ask, which is kind of nice. Okay, now let's check out the AI itself. Let's ask a question that I'd ask every day. And all right, it has some good points. A-B testing and all of that. Looks like I can also do web search right from here, which is nice. Also, I noticed something cool. When you hover on a website, it shows the Neo logo. And if you hover again it lets you preview the site that's really nice you don't need to open the website fully plus i can also ask the ai to tell me about it instead of wasting my time another thing it also groups my tabs automatically which is super convenient so if i open more websites yeah it sorts all of them and i can minimize them from here that's pretty neat let's generate an image and see how good it is let's do a cat hmm it asks for more info now just create a cat image okay now it asks for a format i just want it here and yeah, it created a cat just like that. So cool. The only thing I didn't like is it asks for extra info, but I guess that could be helpful for some people who want more details. Okay, now let's do those 2022 stuff. Ask it to help with my studies. Let me give it my class notes. And yeah, it gave all the information. Now that's nice. It's also asking to make flashcards. So let's do that as well. And here they all are. This is actually really useful. If we go into the wiki and ask it questions, yeah, it explains everything clearly. Hey, cat from the future here. So quick update. The app recently got a bunch of improvements and I wanted to show you the important stuff. First up, the feed got upgraded. Now it actually shows content based on what you're into and it's placed right here in the new tab, which makes it way easier to check. Typing assistant also got better and now it can even write full emails just from a simple prompt like you just just tell it what you need and it puts the whole thing together automatically. And privacy wise, they leveled up too. You can fully turn off memory and the app won't store chats or personal data. So it feels much safer now. That's about it and enjoy the video. Okay, to be honest, the browser is good. And since it's based on Chromium, it's fast as well. You can give it a shot if you want. I'll leave the link in the description. Also subscribe if you haven't already. We're just 500 subs away from hitting 10K and comment your thoughts about this browser and if I should keep using it or move on to something else. And now to end the debates. Let's ask the one and only question. Huh. 
Interesting.